Hello Zany friends, it's Lainey and I wanted to come and talk about another book with you. Um, obviously I just finished reading it, I have no makeup on and I have glasses on, but it is what it is, right? So uh, the book I wanted to talk to you about is called The Family Next Door by Fiona Cummings. This is definitely a thriller and um, it follows the story of a serial killer um, in this neighborhood called The Avenue and a family moves in to a certain house on the block and pretty much when that family moves in that is like when everything kind of takes a twist in this whole serial killer story um i'm gonna tell you <laughs> that it it started out as very hard read for me because number one it's told not only from an outside narrator but it's also told from the perspective of the killer and also like another narrator, which only happened a little bit like at the beginning. And I know that's kind of a weird description and kind of hard to explain, but it, it's told back and forth. Okay. Um, also, when I first started reading it, I almost stopped because there are so many characters in this book. I almost couldn't keep it straight. And I love like a lot of characters and community and whatever, but this was just, it was confusing and overwhelming for like the first 20 pages, but I stuck with it. The other problem is I thought they had revealed the killer like two chapters in. I was like, what is happening? Why are you talking about this? Like at the book, I still have like 70% left in the book. I don't understand. But they did not. Um, you know, it. this book, I just have really mixed feelings about it. I, I, I think I'm going to give it a three stars, but I actually read it in one night. It was a very quick read for me. I just kept going. And I'm actually glad I did because I think if I had picked it up periodically to read it, I would have probably been more confused than I was already. So, I mean, I guess that's, that's a good thing. Um, but... I don't know. Like, I feel like this book was really good in an, in its twist. It had a really interesting twist. I did see it coming about three quarters of the way in. I figured out who the killer was, but it did a really good job that if you're not reading it as someone who's analytical like I am, uh, that you can probably just be like read it for fun, and it would probably take you by surprise. Maybe. Um, I I just I don't know if it was that blatant, but again I. I haven't read a lot by this author either, so I'm not really sure if this is typical of her, like if she writes really big sweeping stories with like a lot of characters and it's very confusing or not, I don't know. So um, yeah, that's basically my review of The Family Next Door. I think I'm going to end up giving it three stars. But uh, if you're interested in a synopsis or anything else like that, go ahead and check down below. And let me know if you, what other kind of books you want to see. Um, I'm probably going to be doing a What I Read in January type video later on. So you'll know everything I read in January. But this is what I got so far. Just one book at a time. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.